All right, today is the day. This year has definitely not gone to plan. Somebody told me at the beginning of this year that I would decide to take a break from my business, that I would come back to living at home for a little over five months and that I'd go back to working at the country club where I used to work back in 2017. I would not have believed you. Break from my business, coming home, spending a little over five months at home, working back at the country club, like that was not in the plan. But it was definitely what I needed. So I just got to my gate here in Honolulu. It is about midnight my time back in Seattle and I am tired. <laughs> Still have two more flights to go, but I'm really looking forward to getting on this flight and I'm hoping that I sleep for the whole flight. <laughs> so I've recently been getting into travel hacking and I want to tell you about my flight. So. The flight that I first found was through Qantas, and that was Qantas, through Qantas, it was Honolulu to Apia Samoa, Apia Samoa to Brisbane, and both of those flights were around five, five and a half hours, and my layover in Apia Samoa is going to be like two, three hours, and I was able to use all of my points, all of my Qantas points, so it was around like 33,000 points and like $50 in taxes or something. And I thought that was a really great deal. So I booked that and then I booked a separate flight from Seattle to Honolulu through Alaska. And that was around like $320. So all up from Seattle to Brisbane, three flights, less than $400, which I'm pretty excited about. I know that there's a quicker route for sure. <laughs> But what I really like from last year, flying to, I had a flight that flew Brisbane to Honolulu, Honolulu, Seattle, and I really like having a layover here in Honolulu and just kind of splitting up the flight times and everything, travels. So I was just talking with my mom before I flew out and I realized that I've been traveling and living abroad for the last 12 years. So I traveled and lived in Singapore in 2011. So yeah, that would be 12 years. And most of my travels have been between the US, like over the Pacific. So the West Coast of the US over to Asia and now in the last four years, the US and Australia. And let me tell you, <laughs> because I've done a couple, a 13, 14 hour flight, especially in economy is rough. And I've done, I've done a couple. So I was really excited when I found the first flight that I did through Qantas, Honolulu to Pia Samoa, Pia Samoa to Brisbane. And then I just booked that separate flight from Seattle to Honolulu. So I will update you when I get to Brisbane, when I get back to Oz after I've done all three flights and let you know how it goes.
so I made it to Sonoma. The flight here, I basically slept the whole flight, which was amazing. And we ran into a little bit of happenings. <laughs> When we got here to Samoa, I was pointing to, there was a guy standing at the top of the staircase, pointing, directing people, and I said transfers, because I'm transferring to Brisbane, book, like on the same booking. And he said no, and he pointed downstairs to arrivals, to customs. And I know if you're on the same kind of flight and you just have a transfer, that you should not have to go down to arrivals and go through customs and grab your bags. But long story short, we had to go down through arrivals, had to pick up our bags, had to go out to ticketing, recheck our bags, even though they had the ticketing on them. So we did that and then I made a friend who bid for an upgrade to business, she got it and she let me be her guest to the lounge here in Samoa. The airport is so small. I think there's only four gates and the lounge was nothing fancy, but it was really nice to kind of just sit there for a moment, have a little food and a coffee. And now I think we should be boarding soon and I'll be on my way back to Oz.